Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to Office Master. Today we are going to dive into an essential skill for anyone working with data. Data analysis with Excel. Specifically, we will be covering sorting, filtering and subtotaling data. These functions are crucial for making sense of large data sets and extracting meaningful insights. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that Office Master is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Alright, let's get started with sorting. Sorting data in Excel is a fundamental skill that helps you organize your information in a logical order. Let's see an example using ChatGPT. As you can see, we got the output. So here is a dummy data. We have a name column, age column, department column and salary column. So here are the step by step guide to sorting. First of all, we have to select the data range. Then we have to open the sort dialog box. After that, we have to sort by a single column. So first of all, let me copy the data to our Excel sheet. As you can see, I have copied the data to our Excel sheet. So we have to select the data range. So let's do this. Then we have to go to data tab. After that, we have to click on sort button in the sort and filter view. So we have to go to data tab. Then we have to click on sort. Okay. In the sort dialog box, under the column section, choose the column you want to sort by. For example, to sort by age, select age. So, sort by under the column age. Okay. Then, under the sort on section, ensure it is set to values. Okay, it's set on values. Under the order section, choose smallest to largest. For ascending order or largest to smallest for descending order. Then we have to click on OK. So we want uh, smallest to largest. Then we are going to just click on OK. As you can see, here age is starting from 28, 29, 34, 38 and 45. So we are sorting this data with respect to age. Now before we move to filtering data function I would like to tell you that AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well AI won't replace you but the person using AI will if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our to our Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI Tools top skill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. 
join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now now back to the topic sorting is a great for ordering your data but what if you need to find specific information quickly that's where filtering comes in so let's see an example on filtering data function okay so here we are going to take help of chat gpt So we have uh, two outputs here. So let's select the first one. So as you can see, here we have the dummy data. Then here are the steps. First one is select the data range. Then enable filtering. After that, filter by single criterion. So let's do this. Let's copy the data to our Excel sheet. As you can see, I've copied the data to our Excel sheet. So, first of all, we have to select the data. Okay. Then, we have to navigate to the data tab. After that, we have to click on filter button in the sort and filter group. Okay data tag then filter okay so here suppose we want to filter the data to display only employees in the marketing department click the drop down arrow in the department column header uncheck select all then check marketing click OK. So let's do this. Here, we have to uncheck select all. We are going to select marketing. Okay. So here you can see, we got the employees who are from marketing department. So this is the output which we got. Finally, let's talk about subtotaling. Subtotals help you summarize data within a larger data set. So let's see an example using ChatGPT. As you can see, we got the output. Wow. So here is the dummy data. And here are the step-by-step -step guide to subtotaling. First one is sort the data. Then insert subtotals. After that, configure the subtotal settings. Then doing subtotal data. So in this, uh, these are the things which we have to do, like expand, collapse, subtotals, remove subtotals. So let's do this. First of all, we are going to copy the data to our Excel sheet. As you can see, I have copied the data to our Excel sheet. So here, first of all, we have to sort the data. Subtotals work best when your data is sorted by the column. You want to group by. Click on any cell within your data set. Go to data tab and ribbon. Click on sort. In the sort dialog box. Choose sort by department. Then click OK. So let's do this. So in data tab. We have to click on sort. Here, sort by department and click on OK. So, as you can see, our data is sorted. 
then insert subtotals select any cell within your data set go to data tab then click on subtotal in the outline group so let's find out this so in data tab here is a subtotal okay just click on it so what we have to do is in subtotal dialog box configure the following settings so at each change in department here we have to select department then use function sum we can choose other functions like average count max etc so as of now we are going to select sum so here you can see sum is already selected then add subtotal to salary so salary is selected we have to click on ok as you can see we got this output so it looks exactly like this so now our data is included with subtotals for salary column grouped by department so you can see hr total is this one it total is this one and marketing total is this one and we also have grand total so these are the additional things excel adds outline buttons to the left of your data allowing you to expand or collapse the view of data at different levels level 1 grand total only level 2 subtotals and grand totals and level 3 detailed data and subtotals okay we can also remove subtotals so to remove we have to click on any cell within data set we have to go to data tab then we have to click on subtotal and remove all so here you can see first thing we can collapse these things like uh, i have entirely collapsed everything and then i have only grand total so you can simply collapse uh, hr total data and we can also collapse so uh, it total data something like this okay and there you have it sorting filtering and subtotaling in excel a powerful tools that can help you analyze and make sense of your data more efficiently remember becoming proficient in these skills can significantly boost your productivity and career prospects do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you